Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, My Life Matters. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And so there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also, that love is appearing. 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8. Life. This is something we all love. We try our best to make the best of it. Try to achieve what we can financially, socially, economically, and emotionally. But just as life is a reality, we have to also think about death. Yes, this is a topic that not many want to think about. We want to think about life. But have you ever thought about what your funeral would be like? I've seen the ones where the roads are blocked and we have to have a police officer directing traffic because it's a packed funeral, which indicates that the person's life made an impact on many others. I've also seen the funerals where it was over pretty early because there was not much to do. Not many persons came. So it got me thinking, what would my funeral be like? Now, death is very final. When you die, you cease to exist. The scripture tells us that when a man dies, his thoughts perish, meaning that whatever you had planned to do, you can't achieve them anymore because you're now dead. Now, it's one thing to be dead and cease to exist, but when you are forgotten, then it appears that you'd never existed any at all. Now, we've all heard of Isaac Newton and we've all heard of Albert Einstein and the contributions that they've made to this life. However, have you ever heard of William James Siddis? This was a child prodigy who had an IQ far above Einstein and Newton. He was speaking eight different languages at the age of eight. He was accepted at Harvard University at only nine years old. He graduated at 16. Observing his life from a child, one could only imagine the great things he would accomplish in his life because of his intellectual capabilities. However, he faded away into obscurity. At one point in time, he took a normal job cutting wood in a forest. Yes, a man who had the ability to help change the world chose to just be normal. We must all strive to make the best use of this life that God has given to us. Everyone must strive to make sure that your life makes an impact, a positive impact in this world. Paul was a very gifted man, and he did not waste the gifts that God gave to him. No, he used them to the glory of God to elevate the kingdom of God. You have to understand, it took a lot of confidence for Paul to make a bold statement as saying that he's fought a good fight and finished his course. Paul was saying, I did all I had to do to make sure that my life mattered. Since we all know that death is a certainty, strive to be the best person you can be. Strive to make sure if and when you die, when people think about you, it will bring joy to their heart and also sadness because of the fact that you're gone. Don't allow it to be that when you die, people forget about you or when they do remember, deep down in their hearts, they're saying, I'm glad he's gone. But no, strive to be the best that you can be. You've got one life to live and whatever you do, make sure it counts. Strive to be the best preacher, the best teacher, the best counselor. Do all you can so that when you die, you can have this testimony. My life mattered. The quote of the day, live a life that makes an impact or it will be as if you've never existed. As you go today, child of God, do not be focused on death, but rather be focused on making sure that your life makes a positive impact in somebody else's life. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.